Hey, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at NECA's Toonie Terror Killer Clowns from Outer Space figures. Of course, this is a set of three, well, a set of two, and then an additional one that appeared in their regular Toonie Terrors line. I am pretty much a straight-laced horror fan. I don't go for wacky horror um, too often, uh, but this particular movie sort of wormed its way into my life, and I do kind of enjoy it for what it is. If you don't know anything about the film, check it out. Um, it's a wacky premise, to say the least. Uh, you have aliens come to Earth in a big top tent, and of course we don't know what aliens look like, right? So they could very well look like clowns. <laughs> and um, craziness and hilarity ensues. So stick around and I will show you what's in the box. I feel much better now that I'm in my killer clown attire. <laughs> all right, so here we have all three figures out of the package and all their accessories on display right here for you, the viewer. Um, let's kind of take this back a second and start with hmm, Shorty. Let's go with Shorty. So I'll we'll move all this stuff to one side and take a look at good old Shorty. Now, Shorty makes his first appearance in the film uh, during the sort of pizza raid, as I would call it. Several clowns show up at the front door of a young lady, and Shorty here pops out of the pizza box and... Uh, Hits her with the good old cotton candy ray gun, uh, which is an accessory of Slim's. Now, Chubby also appears in that particular scene um, holding the pizza boxes. Anyway, um, Shorty's one of the more unique clowns in the film, although they're all unique in their own way. And he has a couple scenes in particular they threw in uh, the accessories of the clown snakes I guess you would call them uh, if you watch the movie you kind of have to pay attention a little bit because uh, one of the clowns has a popcorn gun and the popcorn sticks to people's clothing and it makes them trackable as from from what I understand but then that popcorn eventually turns into these clown snakes. So here we have a little bucket of popcorn, the popcorn inside, and then two of the clown snakes popping out of said popcorn. These necks have some cool little detail, wrinkly details in them, and they are posable. Not only are they posable, the little heads have ball joints, which is really cool and uh, has a has a nice overall paint app purple neck no real color change there and then the little faces are are nice and creepy uh, thank god NECA has started putting each one of these figures on their own personal little black stand god do they need them they cannot stand on their own I'm telling you uh, so hopefully this is a regular thing for NECA uh, going into the future, but you can see that little black stand right here. Nice little accessory. Uh, quite cool idea from the Chiodo brothers who directed and created most of the props and characters. Here we have Shorty ready for uh, a biker boxing match in the film um, he rolls up to some bikers who trash his own personal bike and uh, they decide to put up their dukes. Uh, Shorty here 
immediately brandishes a couple boxing gloves and uh, knocks the block off of a large biker, literally taking his head off with one punch. Um, the figure here has a nice amount of articulation in the neck. Uh, both shoulders move and the wrists even have some articulation. Of course, with Toonie Terrors, it's not always about the details like a lot of NECA's Ultimates. And so some things are lacking on this figure. Uh, I believe the hair should have been a brighter color. And um, if this were a line that was about the details, these costumes had a lot of patterns inside of patterns. Uh, and that's a miss for a more detailed line. But uh, Shorty's quite nice looking and uh, it adds a lot of character to the, the shelf uh, with your other Toonie Terrors. So we'll set him aside here and move on to Slim. Slim here has a pretty heavy lean towards the back. And thank God this stand is here. And thank God he is light, though he's quite large. Um, Slim came with a cotton candy human and the cotton candy gum which was smart and eka to include uh, the cotton candied human here um, is actually done really well um, it does lack texture in the cotton candy but again this is Toonie Terrors this isn't NECA's ultimate line but they do capture the pink color of the film this this little hanging thing as well so uh, right on with the accessories for Slim. Uh, here is the cotton candy gun and it's done fairly well. Not too many paint mishaps on either of those. Um, I'm sure you can get this in a position where he could hold the cotton candy in some way, something like that. Um, but it does seem like the hand is mostly for the gun. Now, the cotton candy people. If you have seen the movie, you know that they are capturing humans in cotton candy and waiting until they're ripe. <laughs> uh, and when they're ripe, well... Fatso sticks a crazy straw in one and sucks the blood right out of them. It's a weird movie, people. It's, it's weird. Um, so, anyway, here we have Slim. Again, uh, nice paint job on him. Uh, he matches the film pretty well. Like I said with Shorty, there are costume details that are lacking, but not a big deal. He's quite tall. I would put him at about the seven inch mark possibly um, but really well done it's I just don't like that lean you can get him a little more forward uh, but he does have head articulation shoulders and wrists so not too shabby move him to the side let's put our cotton candy human does anyone know what human in the film was put in cotton candy. There is one of two uh, that they name. They There's a random farmer who's the first one revealed. And then there's poor old Joe Lombardo. Uh, his name is dropped several times in the, the opening of the film. And uh, this does seem to be poor old Joe. Moving on, we have Chubby. Um, did you know that Chubby's twin clown brother, Fatso, is also in the film? Uh, it's just a, a little color change and costume change for the characters, but basically the same head uh, with just slightly different hair color. Um, this one has only the pie accessory. Um, my issue there is... There's no way for him to hold the pie. 
like the hand is really just kind of flat out and there's nothing you can do so I would say take some of the blue tack stuff and uh, you'll be able to get that pie in there uh, do you guys remember what the pies do they're basically acid um, at one point they throw several of these at a security guard he turns into one big pile of goo and shorty comes along and puts a cherry on top <laughs> a big oversized cherry by the way um, so again nicely captured and he's got some head articulation is a little more limited to the others just due to the size of his neck and then of course the arms move some not a ton but enough and uh, he has that kind of pie throwing action hand there uh, as far as coloring good costuming decent um, in the movie this pattern that you see the spiral pattern is actually much tighter on the costume so the costumes just basically filled with that spiral pattern uh, maybe that was a little costly but NECA did what they could here uh, the pie is fairly well done it looks pretty legit then it has a, a nice little crust and and whipped cream topping so here we have all of the killer clowns and I really can't wait to put them out there and uh, have them on a shelf together so thanks for checking it out again subscribe like hit the bell all that good stuff and I'll catch you next time